Hello, my name is Wade Nimura, and this is Rotary Serving Our Community. One of the many things that Rotary does is give back to the community, and one of the great projects I had a fortune to see is one that was done by Ventura Area Rotarians. And with me today to talk about that, I have Bruce McGee. Bruce, welcome. Well, thank you. It's good to be here. <laughs> great to be back again, right? Yeah. <laughs> so tell me a little bit about yourself, Bruce. Uh, I'm a past president of the Ventura East Club. I was also in the Santa Paula Club. I'm currently the assistant governor for Group 7. And uh, I spent some time on Rotary. <laughs> so how did you get involved with Rotary? Uh, I was running restaurants. I had a restaurant in Santa Paula and a lot of my customers, it turned out, were Rotarians. And a few of them kept bugging me to come and join. A uh, good friend kept encouraging me, and I said, oh, I'm too busy, I'm running a business, I'm too busy. But uh, eventually I came, and uh, it was pretty amazing how quickly I had, there were 100 people in that club, wow. so I had 100 secret shoppers from my <laughs> restaurant. Well, that's great. And of course they enjoyed ribbing me when things were <laughs> not going so well in the restaurants, but it was a really good uh, business opportunity, which is how I saw Rotary at that stage. Good, good. So um, I asked most of my, my people that come on show, the show, did you ever have a Rotary moment, one of those things that just made you decide this is the organization I want to give, give to and serve? Uh, Copenhagen International Convention opened my eyes to the possibilities of Rotary when you've got people from all over the world mingling together, networking, and figuring out how to improve the world, yeah. that's powerful. Yeah, I remember that. It was a great convention. I think that was my first international one also. <laughs> so it was a good, good, uh, good place that we had a chance to party with. Um, we brought you in to talk about this uh, Rotary Plaza. So tell me the inception. What, what made you decide on it? Where did the idea come from? Rotary doesn't do a very good job bragging about itself, public relations, and letting the community know what Rotary's all about and what it does. We're basically quiet achievers. And to me, this was an opportunity to put Rotary out in the community, but also support one of the most worthwhile projects that's happening in Ventura in the last hundred years. So the idea was to bring three clubs together and see if the concept of having a plaza within the Ventura Botanic Gardens would resonate with the three clubs. It did. Uh, so that was back in August of 2016. We had the three clubs come and have a combined meeting, a luncheon, and we talked about how Rotary supporting the new Ventura Botanic Gardens concept was a good thing to do in the community. But I also pushed pretty hard that this is a good way for Rotary to do some public relations, to have the four-way, uh, the Rotary wheel and the four-way test up on display. Mm -hmm. And I kept hammering on that and <laughs> probably visited each club in Ventura 10 or 12 times over the three years. Uh, we set up a committee between the three clubs. Uh, officers on the committee representing the three clubs. We then formed a foundation and we started raising money. And basically the concept was get your name on a wall the more you contribute, the bigger your name. Do it in memory of past presidents or past uh, Rotarians that had a good impact. And we had a pretty good outpouring. We raised about $60,000 in the first year. Mm -hmm. And then we cottoned on to the fact that like most Rotary clubs, there's a big pot of money sitting in a foundation that is used for scholarships or used for once a year for July 4 mm. fireworks. But really the money just sits there and it grows and everybody brags about, yeah, we've got a million dollars now. <laughs> but it's not really used. Yeah. 
So we were able to tap into each of the club's foundations. They all provided $50,000. Wow. Uh, the South Club kicked that off and said, if the other clubs will match this, we'll do 50000 And the other two clubs kicked in. So we had the personal funds from individual Rotarians plus the foundations. Oh. And that's what helped us put this together. Sounds good. And the location, beautiful location. How did you identify that? Or was that something in the plans itself? My wife, Kathy, who's also in Ventura East, and she's a board member of the Botanic Gardens. We kind of wandered around the gardens and, and we saw this site. Uh, Mitch Stork, mm -hmm. Ventura Rotary, and a founding member of the Botanic Gardens, she dreamed about, well, she actually wanted the Botanic Gardens to be called the Rotary Botanic Gardens. Right. <laughs> uh, that, that didn't quite work out, but I think this is a pretty good compromise. So we picked a spot that's the, the center of the gardens. It's the trailhead, the first real stop when you hike about a mile up into the gardens. And as the de gardens develop over the next 10 to 20 years, it'll be, there'll be three trails actually going through Rotary Plaza. Hmm. Uh, for people that are coming up with uh, handicapped access, they can be dropped off there. Uh, the plaza itself will seat 50 people. Uh, so it'll be good for outdoor classrooms, meetings. Uh, we can see artists, musicians up there. Uh, really, now that it's created, uh, I'm challenging the clubs to, to use it and take advantage of Good. it. Good. But the gardens currently has, they're in the thousands each week of people that visit and hike up through the trails. And as the more trails are opened up and the garden develops, there'll be thousands of people that will walk through the plaza, see the rotary wheel, they'll see the four-way test, and that will be in English and Spanish, because over half the people that hike up there now may not be able to read what the four-way test is in right. English. Mm -hmm. Good. So um, was this done in conjunction or working with in cooperation with the city of Ventura? Because it is right behind City Hall. The city leased the land to the Botanic Gardens Committee and that's a 25-year renewable lease. The city really enabled the gardens to get going, so it's actually a pretty good example of a private-public partnership. But when it comes down to it, the Botanic Gardens is run by the Botanic Gardens Committee. Right. They've got an executive director, they've got a, a fairly sophisticated, well, very sophisticated uh, group of folks on the board. Mm. Uh, they're working really well. And since the Thomas fire, it's amazing how much has been done. That's right, because it burned during the fire. It did burn during the fire. Yeah, yeah. Uh, burned all the way down to the back of City Hall. The closest residence to the back of City Hall actually burned. That's how close the fire mm. got. But. The Thomas Fire really opened up Ventura residents and uh, the whole county's heart in terms of need. And since the fire, there's been a real outpouring, not just of funding, but volunteers. Mm. There's hundreds of volunteers yes. that get up there and work on the garden. So a lot of good progress. <laughs> Sounds good. Yeah. Well, let's jump into some pictures. You brought some pictures of you have the park itself. And uh, I think the pictures even don't show it justice, but it is a beautiful area. So we will jump into the first series of pictures that we'll see here shortly. That's uh, Ed Summers and his partner. Mm -hmm. uh, Ed's been a good supporter. Rotarians there? Ventura Rotarian. Very good, very good. And then the next picture we have? Oh, there's Ed again. Ed, Ed again. Ed the group. And that's actually in the plaza itself, right? That's we, in the plaza. Under so the you tree, you got a beautiful. You can see the cement gum uh, tree there. Base, and you got a, you got three big eucalyptus trees. That's, yeah, well, did that's you? probably really why I picked. <laughs> I was going to ask you if you had site. anything to do with that. 
And the next picture we have, there's a famous new couple. I think two <laughs> new couples. Two new couples Bo there. Both of you married in the yeah, last few yeah. months. That's right. Uh, my wife, Kathy, and uh, Doug Holter, one of the founding members of the gardens mm, and right. also we, on the Plaza Committee. We had him on the show. He's a president, current president, right, of the uh, Ventura Club. The 100 Year Club. 100 Year Club. <laughs> yeah, he's done a good job. Oh, there we go. Couple of Ventura Handsome Rogues. couple right there. <laughs> Everybody was dressed up to the nines for the 100 year gala. Okay. So this was run in conjunction with that? Correct. Okay. And we may want to put a little shout out for uh, the tall lady right there. District Governor Sandy. <laughs> District Governor Sandy. Yeah. <laughs> what a great job she's done this year. Outstanding job. And another good downtown Rotarian. Yeah, yeah, there we go. You can see good most photo. of the folks are dressed up. Okay, and the, the dress was based on the year, what was that, 1919? So yep. I'm guessing we had a theme of the 1920s 1920s, right so yeah. on the right you have Mary Kay from downtown on the uh, Plaza Committee and Melody Thurman, the uh, president of downtown. Right, okay, so good support from all of the uh, Ventura and, Rotary Clubs. And, uh, the Hutch, the Hutch clan. The, the Hutch, there you go. And a nice backdrop. You guys figured to put the flowers out right for this opening too, right? Yeah. <laughs> Very nice. It's a beautiful setting. Mustard grass actually <laughs> looks good. Okay. Until you have to clear it. <laughs> they have to clear it. We've got a picture coming up here. This is uh, Jeff Hutta too. That's one of the uh, Jeff Hutta, the current president of the Ventura East Club and mm -hmm. a good supporter of the plaza. Okay. Now, he's been involved with it from the beginning, too, also, right? Wasn't he? Uh... He's been uh, pushing, and he's been a champion <laughs> for years. Uh, downtown Ventura Rotarians. Mm -hmm. Looks like a big party right there happening. They're, they're ready to head off to the Pierpont Inn. Right, right. Another, oh, there's some folks from the Chamber of Commerce. The Chamber okay. of Commerce came up and did a ribbon cutting and supported us. Oh, that's right. That, that, that was very was nice. Was very good nice to have their to support. And we did have the um, designers too, right? The landscapers that were yeah, in charge the, of the project. We missed them, but they were uh, well, Noah they were and, on site. Uh, yeah, there you go. Oh, there you are. Talking about a show. <laughs> You can see the uh, the Ventura Pier and downtown yeah, Ventura beautiful. below, so you, you get an idea of the view. That's another shot uh, looking basically north. Mm -hmm. Probably during presentation time. Uh -huh. It's like something's going on. Yep. Some applause. Mm -hmm. We must be close to the <laughs> ribbon cutting. Must be close to it or at it. <laughs> Again, beautiful area. Um, eucalyptus trees pretty much shadow that most of the time then, right? There's three right on the side. Mm -hmm. uh, there was a bunch of pine trees in the canyon up behind, and mm -hmm. they burned, and we, they were cleared out. Ah, gotcha. Uh, the botanic gardens will feature five biomes from around the world. You'll oh. have uh, Chile, South Africa, Australia, the Mediterranean, and California coastal. Mm -hmm. That's a great photo of uh, Midge Stork. Mm -hmm. Uh, she just lost her husband, Dave, who's been a great supporter mm -hmm. of Rotary. Uh, she's got her hands in so many pies in Ventura, mm -hmm. but uh, great supporter. It was wonderful to have her up there at the dedication of she the plaza. She was kind of the one that spearheaded the botanical garden portion of it, wasn't she? She did. Yeah, she but was a strong supporter of that, and she was definitely an advocate to the clubs. Saw yep. her there all the time. Yep. Another shot, of yeah, you can see the size setting. of the plaza, Beautiful there. Uh, the plants that have been set mm -hmm. around the front mm -hmm. also happen to be Australian natives. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> oh, we've got a little bit of drink here going. Another good shot, and uh, we got the bubbly out. We got the bubbly out. Um, Noah and Nicole oh, standing on the left. Yeah. Uh, Nicole is on the design committee for the garden. Mm -hmm. She's a landscaper based in Ventura but works in Santa Barbara. Mm -hmm. uh, Noah's uh, an architect and uh, design, he runs a design business, basically furniture, but he's, oh, really? he's helped uh, fabricate the signage okay. that will 
probably go up on the wall. Okay, and that's the sign is right behind that you're sitting on. It's a bench and sign. Exactly. Dual purpose uh, And that wall. will, that signage will recognize the folks that donated and the, the club foundations. Mm -hmm. It will also show the four-way test. Okay. So that, Picture there of your, your wife. <laughs> yep, Kathy and okay. uh, Rosandra, Jeff Hutters. Oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Other half. We are picking up pictures. There you go. There's a picture there. Then the next one we have. Can I get caught up here? There we go. That's uh, Stephanie. She's the CEO of the Chamber, Chamber of Commerce. Right, right. So she was in charge of the ribbon cutting and also exactly. And yeah, she the welcoming said a few group. words. Yeah, she yep. did. It's good to have them involved. Exactly. Uh, somebody else from the chamber. Not sure mm -hmm. who that is. Okay. And then my better half. <laughs> That's right. Another picture. Oh, look at beautiful background there. Looks nice. She was Very nice. Thanking the Rotary Clubs and having them think about what we can use the plaza for now. Mm -hmm. Another picture of the president there, Doug. Doug organized all the structural work. And oh, the, he did. That's the, right. He's a landscaper. The rammed earth walls there are different colored walls, different. Okay. It almost looks like strata. It's crushed rock that we recycled out of uh, Thomas Fire Homes that burned that ah, were crushed up okay. by Cal Recycle. Right. And they put a dye in the crushed rock okay. to bring out different colors. And of course, we're trying to represent the colors that you can, you can see in the mm -hmm. cliffs there. But, right, right. Uh, another good shot of, of Noah and Nicole there. Greer, the design people. Oh, There's the go. ribbon cutting. The ribbon cutting, that was the big deal. And we made sure that Mitch got involved with that. <laughs> yeah. That was nice. There we go. The Another official cutting right the there. Group. That's a good group picture there. Yes. <laughs> yep. And the success. How many years was it for that ribbon cutting? Four years? Three uh, years? It was three years. Okay. We had a $250,000 budget and we hit it. And the <laughs> gardens have got their money and we've got a plaza. So oh, it's, nice. Very it's nice. exciting. <laughs> Oh, yep, yeah, that's right. You let me say a few words there also. Well, you've been a good supporter over the years, so it was, was fun to have you come. I was fortunate to be at the groundwork of it. It was a great project you guys have done there. And again, the governor got to speak. Yeah. She drove all the way in from ben, uh, Bakersfield, she, she right? She came in from Bakersfield wow. and then enjoyed the 100-year gala. Mm -hmm. and we had a good walk on the beach the next morning, and she headed <laughs> oh, off is that to right? oh, that's right. another function in Simi Valley. That's right. You hosted her that night, didn't yep. you? Yeah, it was good. It was good of you. That's a lot of road time for these poor governors, that's for sure. Yep. And this is our newest member. In fact, he hasn't even been inducted in Ventura East Rotary. Oh, really? He has not and, yet? And uh, he put up his hand and said, I'll come and help you direct traffic. Nice. So. Very nice. Yeah, we had quite a few cars up there. Not yep. a lot of places to park. Yep. <laughs> but he's, uh, he's going to be a good member. Some more <coughs> uh, members from, I think they're spouses from the downtown oh, club. Okay, got it. You see the botanical gardens in the background there. Yep. <laughs> a couple of dapper folks. There you go. The downtown <laughs> club. That's a nice picture, by the way. That's uh, a great These picture. pictures were furnished by who? Uh, Dan Holmes. Yeah, he did a great job. He's a wonderful photographer. He's in the downtown club. Mm -hmm. uh, nice of him to share the photos with us. Wonderful to share the photos. <laughs> and if you're looking for a good photographer, yeah, he definitely let showing us know. his stuff he here. He does a good job. Yeah, nice group there. Yeah, that's some of Midge's family, and okay. then uh, Tom and Cynthia Hashberger. Mm -hmm. He's in the East Club, past okay. president. Cynthia's got her fingers in just about every committee in Ventura. <laughs> Busy people. Here we go. I guess this was supposedly some of the VIPs here, they said, but <laughs> why they put you and me in there, I don't I'm, know. I'm not sure. We've got <laughs> Rosalie Measures. Yeah. She, uh, she was the last to put some money in. That was exciting. Nice. That was and she's uh, actually out of the area, but she still supports Ventura. Comes back. Exactly. That's nice. Very nice of her. Yeah. And then uh, we have a picture there of you and me guarding, guarding the sign. Guarding the sign. 
Yeah. And again, nice picture. Uh, look at yeah. the backdrop yeah. there. It's a beautiful area. It's uh, the botanic gardens are really going to put Ventura on the map for a reason to stop. And apart that's a, from that's the gardens there behind it. Yep. Okay. Well, nice. nice. Yep. And we have one last photo showing the front of the sign and the backdrop itself. So um, it, was, it was a great job. It was important too, in my opinion, seeing the um, the actual rotary logo go up there and become part of the plaza itself. Uh, you also have the four-way test as a plaque there too, I believe, right? The four-way test will be part of the sign that mm -hmm. has the names of the different foundations in there. And on top of that Members. is where you're going to be putting the, uh, the plaques, right? Correct, on, on the flat part? Correct. Okay, oh, that would yep. be, be beautiful. Very nice. Yep. So now that you've got this done, is there going to be a phase two? Just to get people ready for this. Um, there's so many things that Rotary can be doing. Uh, I don't think we've actually got a phase two planned at okay. this stage. Okay. But who knows what will happen. I mean, when the gardens has an open house yeah. or a big day like July 4 or New Year's Day, the thousands of people come and walk yeah. through the gardens. So there's an opportunity for Rotarians to be talking about what's Rotary or did you know we're doing this project, we could use some help or we could use some volunteers. So mm -hmm. that's the PR side uh, of this plaza opportunity right. that I can see really helping. Now remember the original plans that came through that you presented a few years ago actually had two tiers. You had the upper one that we have here and mm -hmm. then there was a lower one that was a larger plaza. There's a lower tier that the gardens are working on. Uh, there's different information about what that could be. It could be uh, open air auditorium. Yeah. They're teeing with that. Uh, but certainly it's gonna be sculpted. There'll be other trails coming through there. I mean, personally, if it was an auditorium for public lectures, music, mm -hmm. that would just be a superb spot looking out over the city and right. the islands. Okay. But that's, uh, that's up to the gardens. <laughs> okay. How much involvement does the um, Rotary Clubs have in the botanical gardens as far as maintaining the trails? Because I've noticed you guys have had a few work days out there. We do work days. A lot of the volunteers are Rotarians. A lot of the people on the committee or on the board uh, are Rotarians or you know Rotarian spouses. So... I know the gardens really appreciates what Rotary's done by stepping up and contributing like this. Uh, they just opened up their welcome center, which is down below City Hall. There's a gift store, there'll be a nursery. Uh, that actually oh, wow. got some really nice oh, gifts. Nice. Uh, pottery, booklets, and jewelry. And that's gonna be at the bottom or at the top? That's, that's down at the bottom. And towards the parking lot there. Yeah, there's City a parking Hall. lot behind City Hall. Yeah. Oh, okay. You can come in, check out, learn about the gardens. They do guided walks. Uh, all sorts of different guided walks going on. Mm -hmm. And lots of volunteer opportunities. Right. But it's a actually very neat gift store. So if you're thinking about a gift from Ventura when you taking a gift yeah. <laughs> across the country for Christmas or whatever. It's nice. actually a neat little spot right Across the Pacific. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. Um, what would you say, uh, reflecting back, um, having the involvement of all three Rotary Clubs, one of the very few times that that's happened or done, even in the Ventura area, do you think that uh, adds to it, gives you more camaraderie within that group, a little extra strength? The, there's no doubt. It, it brings more leverage to an individual club. Uh, for example, the 100-year gala last uh, May 4th, mm -hmm. there were six different presidents that came wow. to that event. And that, to me, is good support. Uh, another example is the uh, Ronald McDonald family room that all of Group 7 are working on. Uh, that actually brought seven clubs together, eight clubs if you count Camarillo. I'm not sure that would have happened if the clubs weren't used to working together on the plaza. True. Uh, 
Uh, it also means that when there's a major fundraiser, it's a lot easier to communicate with the clubs because they're used to listening to each other. They're more used to having different club members come and right. talk. Right. So I, I'm really excited about that. I think it's going to open more doors in the future. Good, good. Now, have you passed this on to the next assistant governor that's following in your spot? Mm -hmm. And that will be who? That is Linda Gertzman. Okay, well, Linda. So she's, she's getting started. We're having a group. Uh, group 7 meeting the 23rd at our place she's bringing the president elect and it'll be the last hurrah for the current president <laughs> uh, we're going to pick the president's minds and say okay what were the surprises if you were doing this okay. again what did you learn how better to motivate the board and motivate the clubs so we want to try and impart some wisdom for the well, president good. elect very good but the incoming group has already committed to do the Walk for Kids again next year. Nice. Uh, for the first year, we we're expecting between 300, 350 walkers. We got 920. Oh, wow. There were more walkers in Ventura than the North Hollywood Walk that was done at USC. Wow. Think about that. <laughs> that's impressive. That's impressive. And, and that, that shows a lot of influence that Rotary has within your group, your community. Yeah. Outstanding. And I'm sure you know that Linda's uh, sister was a past district governor from another district. Really? I didn't know that. <laughs> uh, so you could kind of press her into that, say maybe she's following in those footsteps. <laughs> she was excellent uh, assist, uh, governor also. Well, good. Well. We're kind of running out of time on this one here. Again, uh, a lot of good information. One quick quote I would like to have from you, and that would be how you think the plaza came out. What do you think the impact was for that community and Rotary? The, the plaza has had a big impact on the gardens because it, it's really been well designed. It's a first class Plaza, my hats are off to the design committee and, and Doug and Nicole especially. Uh, it's, I think it's set a good bar for other groups to come in and say, okay, that's the standard. Right. Let's, let's work on this and cool. support the gardens. Well, Bruce, thank you very much for joining us and for sharing that one outstanding project. With that, everybody, if you get a chance, go take a look at that Rotary Plaza. Outstanding views, guaranteed the weather will be there perfect anytime you go there. With that, we will see you next time. Thank you. <laughs>